Myth number one, anesthesia is like going to sleep. Well, actually, it may appear that you're going to sleep under anesthesia, but what is actually happening is you're going into a state of unconsciousness due to medications that are activating receptors in your brain that are inhibitory. So it's actually not going to sleep and you don't dream under anesthesia. Myth number two, anesthesia always causes severe side effects. While some side effects may be more common, such as nausea and vomiting, severe side effects associated with anesthesia are extremely rare, especially in the medications that we use now in the 21st century. So that doesn't happen very often. Myth number three, you can become addicted to anesthesia. Most of the medications that are given throughout an anesthetic are not addictive. And even medications such as opioids, such as fentanyl that are given, are given in such a small amount that don't have the potential to actually develop into an addiction. Myth number four, you may not wake up from anesthesia. The fact of the matter is that complications related to anesthesia itself are one in 200,000. So the chances of you not waking up after having general anesthesia are extremely low. Myth number five, anesthesia awareness is common. While it's very depicted in Hollywood movies, awareness under anesthesia or people being awake under anesthesia, the actual statistics on being on awareness under anesthesia is more like 0.1%. So an extremely rare event and it happens most in open heart procedures and trauma. Myth number six, it's okay to eat or drink before surgery. No, it's not okay to eat or drink before surgery. A lot of the times patients come in and they have had something for breakfast before surgery and unfortunately we have to cancel those patients. What can happen is the food that's actually in your stomach can back up into your esophagus and go into your lungs and cause pulmonary aspiration and that would cause pneumonia and possible life-threatening complications. Myth number seven, anesthesia can cause permanent memory loss. While mild confusion and memory issues may arise right after you're waking up in recovery, permanent memory loss is usually not an issue with anesthesia and you regain your full memory. Myth number eight, pregnant women cannot receive anesthesia. While we do not administer anesthesia for elective procedures, such as cosmetic procedures and plastic surgery, in the hospital for emergency procedures, anesthesia is delivered. And actually, uh, cholecystectomy, which is the uh, removal of the gallbladder, or appendectomies is quite common in pregnant patients. So those patients do receive anesthesia, and most of the time it's not a complication. There are no known complications associated with delivering anesthesia to the fetus, but as a precaution, it is not given for elective procedures. Myth number nine, anesthesia is not given to older patients. While obviously we have to make fine adjustments to our anesthetic to older patients or patients with comorbidities, there are no major complications involved in delivering anesthesia to older patients. I've given anesthesia to patients well over their 90s. Myth number 10, anesthesia providers only work in the operating room. While most anesthesia providers work in an operating room setting, a lot of anesthesiologists may work in intensive care units, in pain clinics, or even in labor and delivery. So they can work in an array of different settings. I hope you enjoyed these 10 anesthesia myths and I'll see you next time.